What is up everyone? Welcome back to Small Cap Crypto. Apologies for the radio silence, life happened. And also the market was really heating up and I didn't want to be one of those people who were making videos only when the market is up and then would go uh, silent when things went bearish. Now that that has happened and now that we are in this between bearish and neutral market, I felt like it was a good time to continue making videos because this is the true test. How you behave and how you think during times like this is the true test um, for whether you will be successful or not in crypto land. So today's video is titled, What the Beep Happened to Snowbank? Slow Rug by Incompetence. I gave away the, um, the answer already, at least in my opinion. Um, and again, you know, I make these videos to share the thought process uh, around uh, evaluating crypto projects and this experience i think is going to be very useful for me long term and maybe some of you will find this useful so as some of you might have already watched because i know that a lot of you um, came to my channel because of the snowbank videos i had a video on snowbank uh, when it first came out and um you know I wouldn't say a lot has happened, but some time has passed and uh, things happened or didn't happen as I will go through in the video. Long story short, uh, the project is being discontinued. They made an announcement. They're, they're having a final redistribution, uh, which is essentially a way for you to claim uh, the risk-free value of your snowbank. I'll touch upon that at the very end of this video, like a little quick how-to. But right now, uh, let's talk about things uh, from a retro um, spec perspective standpoint in a way that will uh, educate all of us. So uh, initially, what were the uh, hope factors, right? The, the reasons that we might uh, um, have to want to put money into Snowbank. Well, um, a few months ago, uh, rebase, uh, rebase tokens were really uh, on the up and up, right? Um, following uh, Olympus's uh, rise and spread amongst the uh, general population in crypto land you you had a lot of these forks uh, coming up left and right and snowbank was one of them you know it was um, the the fork that uh, at that time seemed to be uh, a more direct uh, copy of uh, Olympus because while Wonderland was already um, existing and Wonderland was um, the uh, the ohm fork on avalanche uh, the message was very clear that wonderland uh, was not meant to be um, a direct copy it was they were only using uh, olympus's model as a way to distribute liquidity amongst um, uh, to a lot of addresses uh, to to get a lot more people to, to hold it now S snowbank when it came out um, was meant to be more of an Olympus copy. And since Olympus was widely successful, it was uh, well accepted, right? Even though uh, it was uh, it was a very quick launch, you know, it, essentially they commented on um, the Ava Labs uh, founders uh, tweet, uh, and that's how they gain uh, initial traction. So, and uh, also they had decent branding, right? They had decent branding, which we uh, found out uh, later on to be uh, stolen, right? They had a lot of nice uh, visuals that were just taken from Robin Hood. <laughs> so yes, um, another hope factor was that they were quite responsive. So in the uh, docs, they, there were some outdated or um, inaccurate uh, things like the links for the link to the LP um, on uh, Trader Joe was linking to the uh, time mim uh, pair instead of the snowbank mim pair and that was fixed very quickly you know when a project is very responsive to to feedback or to comments from the community you know that's um, that's a reason to be to be hopeful right but in retrospect it was a very small thing right this people can be responsive doesn't mean um, it will it will make a good crypto project now Let's talk about the more juicy, um, sensational, uh, and heated uh, 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 things, which are the telltale signs that it was going to fail or 
uh, risk factors or worry factors, right? So if you remember, um, because they were aiming to be uh, an Olympus copy, uh, they were there was borrow mentioned here. You know, they they were uh, initially promising for uh, for there to be a a uh, lending uh, feature, and that was initially promised for some time in December, and then they postponed it once, twice, and then there was a time when uh, they asked people for votes. You know, now in retrospect, um, this was just. Uh, you know, the team flaking and simply being uh, incompetent. So here I'll begin my uh, long uh, overarching point, which is um, this is not a rug in a sense that um, the devs um, turn everything off uh, and, and, and stole all the money. But it really, from the outsider's point of view, uh, seem, seems to be a case of these were just really inexperienced and incompetent people, and we can't blame them or, or, or even uh, anyone else. You know, we can only blame ourselves because everyone knows that uh, the ecosystem in crypto is still very uh, new. You know, it's unregulated. There's there's a lot of really shady projects. It's a, it's really high risk, um, but also there's a lot of really inexperienced people. Um, people are launching projects left and right for the first time. You know, people who've never done any uh, crypto projects before, like never having uh, worked in one as a team member, you know, becoming founders and maybe, um, you know, with very little knowledge on how to manage uh, tokenomics, you know, not understanding how to uh, manage things, you know, like they they get really um, um, attracted to, to the idea of having a project with, um, you know, like, two, three mil market cap, uh, a lot of liquidity, the ability to, to mint tokens. Um, it, it's, all, it's all very enticing and a lot of people jump on that bandwagon and it's still happening, right? But what happens along the way is that, you know, they realize that they really don't know what the hell they're doing or they're just not doing a great job. And the cost of that is all the people who've put money into it, they will lose money. And I know from the Discord chat that unfortunately a lot of people have lost money. Uh, not just from Snowbank itself, but also from the Snow Snowdog fiasco, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So, anyways, borrow. Borrow was, you know, when when borrow was delayed, you know, it should have been a a warning sign already. But you know, as well, they had that uh, card, right? So it was the Snowbank NFT um, card that was meant to to boost APY, um, and that was all. Uh, a load of crap, right? Because it was never uh, implemented. Uh, people had it, uh, it looked nice, um, but, and they promised utility, but nothing ever happened, you know? Um, and you could have, um, you should have just sold it immediately. And if you, if you could time travel, which I know you can, but um, when, when, there was, when nothing came out of that, you know, that, that should have been another uh, warning sign. Um, and then Snow Dog happened again, you know, there were, talking about how it's an experiment, haha, you know, um, and they were speaking about it as if it was play money, right? They launched it for um, a week and then they, they shot it just as they said they would and a lot of people lost money um, and they went on uh, with business as, as usual. And unfortunately, because of Snow Dog, the reputation of Snowbank really plummeted. Um, they really screwed up with, with that one. And then... You know, they were talking about how they'll have a V2 um, and then uh, it, it will, uh, and in the meantime, V1.1 or 1.2 will uh, involve turbines. They're changing the model from uh, minting to the uh, idea of um, turbines. And this, this was like a, a stopgap fix in terms of the uh, project, right? Like they haven't, delivered on the big things you know nft card utility nada um borrow nada v2 not really happening um there were snapshots uh, like votes um that were happening uh, but they were mostly on um like little implementation details of uh turbine it's just like turbine capacity new turbine but nothing big right um and they you know it it, it really felt like they were listening to people and I guess they were 
um, but it was more of like a measure. Probably they were in their meet in in their meetings talking about, hey, how can we restore confidence into Snowbank as opposed to how can we really make Snowbank successful? You know, their priority was just to get um, people's interest and confidence back. And after some time, maybe they realized that, hey, we screwed up big time and people are not going to be um, interested uh, as much again. And the uh, rebase wave has sort of passed. I mean, Olympus is right now at um, $60, right? And a lot of people who have confidence in um, Olympus, man, why is a fake token coming up? Um, will stick around, but uh, the general population of let's get on the bandwagon are probably less inclined on this now. You know, much like uh, there's a hype, right? And I, we can use uh, Dogecoin as an example. Um, the peak of the Dogecoin hype, Dogecoin is still you know, very highly ranked, number 12. The peak of the Dogecoin hike, uh, it, it reached um, 0 0.7. You know, this is when Elon Musk appeared on SNL. And ever since then, it's had a hard time um, beating that, even though for other cryptos, um, they were able to, in November especially, you know, reach new all-time uh, highs. Um, and with um, Olympus, I do believe that peak hype was... You know, we've, we've passed peak hype, as in we're not going to see drastic movements in the near future. Maybe uh, in, you know, a year or two, it can again, uh, they can again be uh, great hype. But right now, you know, the people who are holding are in it for the long haul, I believe, you know, because it, it, it has been performing well. Anyways, the general rebase hype has faded. So Snowbank does not have anything to ride on. It doesn't have the rebase hype to ride on and it doesn't have... Uh, an actual track record um, to write on and they're aware of this so probably the team members are just going to work uh, on other things you know they're just going to adopt new um, uh, pseudonymous identities uh, new pseudonyms and just launch new projects and maybe the next ones they'll do it a bit better um, yeah again you know this is not a direct scam um, so and and those devs probably don't feel like they uh, did anything wrong as well from their communication. Um, they were talking about, hey, it's been a good run, thanking people, even though a lot, they've caused a lot of people to lose money. But again, you know, it's our own uh, faults and decisions um, that we lose money in this space. Um, but yeah, this was really a slow rug by incomp incompetence. Um, and for me personally, I'll be more uh, mindful of this, you know, when evaluating a project, even though it seems hopeful, uh, but I gotta, you know, watch out more for telltale signs of incompetence, and you know they include you know promising something, not delivering on it, and downplaying the uh, impacts of uh, any you know bad decisions that they've made. You know, case in point, Snow Dog. Um, uh, yeah. So um, fortunately uh, for me, um, I somehow magically only lost. Um, 1% of my money because I entered um, at a point when it was really low. Um, it was in, in the middle of um, this this chart. Uh, I felt that uh, this was before it became obvious that it wasn't really going to be a successful case. Um, you know, I was gambling on the fact that they'll make a comeback. And even if it's just a decent comeback, it was still okay. But I know that for a lot of, for people who entered here, it's really rough, man. And if you're one of those people, I'm sorry um, to, you know, to, to hear, even though you're not telling it to me right now, but I hope you are okay. I hope you make it through this. I hope you learn something from this. Um, know that, you know, a lot of people are experiencing this and I hope you will make better decisions um, uh, in, in the future and that you will get to make back your money. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that is it for, for this round, um, for this video. Uh, I'm a bit rusty, so I do apologize, but hopefully that was a little bit useful. Um, I do want to make more videos. I low, I low key wish that we will not enter into a bull market anytime soon because I think it just clouds uh, judgment. I hope that it's going to stay like this or enter into a bearish market. Remember, you don't lose until you cash out, right? Um, unless you invested in really... Uh, risky uh, projects uh, like Snowbank. Um, 
but yeah, know your um, risk tolerance. Uh, really be aware that anything you put into crypto, you can lose, right? It's don't put in what you can't afford to lose. Um, so yes, hopefully this was useful. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below of whatever else you're paying attention to in crypto, any feedback about this video. I'm just starting out, so there's a lot of room uh, for improvement. All right, take care and see you next time.